Hi, secondary teachers. So today's video is about Clever. Your students have been using Clever for years as elementary students, and some of you have started using Clever because your curriculum um, is being logged into with the use of Clever. So what is Clever? Well, it's a Google extension. It's been pushed out to all staff and students, and it kind of works like Google single sign-on. Once students have logged into a page, a program, whatever, Clever is going to remember that information and they won't have to put it in ever again. So Clever works at different levels. You can have a district page. You can see the district is shared 27 resources with your students. You can have a page just for you. So you can kind of use it as a bookmark manager if you choose to. Again, it's going to remember your passwords. And then you can create a page for your students. So if I went to my Monica McAtee page, I could go ahead and add anything, including PDFs or links to slideshows or apps, whatever I want to do. I can also categorize my links into reading or math or whatever. Again, kind of like a bookmark um, portal. Something else that Clever does, I know many of you miss share to Google Classroom because you can't push out websites. Well, not only can you do it with GoGuardian, you can also do it with Clever. So the login tools here, you can launch an app, you can launch an app on all student computers, so you can just push that app out. So I want to make sure you know how to get more information about Clever. So on the MLSD 161 website, we finally got that remote learning hub back on the front page. So go ahead and access our remote learning hub. We're really doing our best to make it more robust and full of information for you. You can click on the teacher tab. I'm going to scroll down. It is not the core four, but it is a district or site license. So I want to click on Clever. Again, it simplifies student logins by creating a single sign-on opportunity. Click down. Here's the page. This page will give you some screenshots. There's a reminder of what the extension looks like, some really great information, and then links and links and links and more links. Uh, if you have any questions about Clever, please let us know. Again, some of the programs like Springboard, um, some of your math curriculum, some of your EL curriculums are going to be already on Clever. If you have a site that you want to use, you can either put it on your teacher page or you can put in a tech ticket to the tech department and they'll make sure that it gets on the district page. Hope that helps and dig in a little bit to Clever because it can really save you time and energy.